what you know, there's three there's three parts. What you put in your body, what you put on your body, what you put your body through. So what you put your, in your body, obviously your beverages and also food. So in terms of beverages, um, I try to drink 70% uh, of my body weight every day. So some people say anywhere from 30 to 70%. I try to uh, err on the side of more instead of less. We've all been told drink 64 ounces of water a day. So this is 80 ounces. So I try to drink as soon as I get up in the morning. I know this is tough. I try to drink at least uh, 32 to 64 ounces immediately when I get up in the morning. So this is 80 ounces. So I try to drink at least two of these. Um, so uh, it's very important. Now when it comes to water, you never want to necessarily force yourself or, or look at it as being drudgery. It should be a process as you build your way into it. But water is critical. 70% of our body is water, so that's a critical resource. Uh, they say that the average person is drinking um, less than um, three cups of water a day, which is amazing. So when you think about kids in school not being able to concentrate and focus, a lot of that may just be they're just dehydrated. So that's very important. So this water, you've probably heard of uh, pH. So pH, the higher your pH level, the more healthier you're going to be. So this is a water that has uh, minerals. Uh, and um, it has a lot of electrolytes, alkaline, which is your pH level, which is very, very important. So we buy this, we give our kids this, uh, and it's very important. So this water is filtered water, doesn't really have any um, uh, minerals or anything in there. So the, the water sources, you have uh, filtered or distilled water, you have um, mineral water and tap water. So tap water is probably the last, so uh, that you probably should be drinking if that's your only resort. Uh, obviously, that should be the case. Now, this right here is called kombucha. All right, it's the company's called GTs. So our kids are not allowed. Naya and Eli, who uh, Naya went to Grace, Eli goes to Grace currently, are not allowed to drink uh, soda, pop, or juice. No juice. So they can only have water or kombucha drinks. So kombucha, full of probiotics, electrolytes, enzymes, natural things, very important. Obviously, you know, there's a cost. I always say you can pay now or pay later, but you're going to pay at some point. So these are very, very beneficial for your gut floor, which is considered, your gut is considered your second brain. It's very important you take care of that. Most people focus on their first brain, but your second brain is very, very important as well. All, gut, all health is predicated on how healthy your gut is, your metabolism, your immune system, how your cells are responding. All of these things are really in your gut. So it's very, very important that you take care of your gut. Anything I do is I start with the gut. Anytime I work with athletes, kids, I start with their, at the abdomen, I start with their, 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 their core. That is a critical component. If you have, if you look at a lot of our athletes, a lot of our great athletes are, are great in sports because they have great core. So your core, your gut, your intestines, all of these things are critically important for not only your health, but also just your overall wellness of your life. Very, very important. I can't emphasize that enough. Supplements are, it's, you know, it's, it's a touchy thing because obviously, you know, we're not giving advice on what you should or shouldn't take. You always should talk, talk to a, your physician or healthcare uh, uh, practitioner in terms of nutritional supplements. This is a multivitamin um, and mineral supplement, which is very important for kids. I think uh, minerals, vitamins, uh, typically what uh, uh, as a, a good friend of mine named Mike Euclid, Euclid Nutrition, can use that as a resource. They have great resources in terms of um, supplements. That minerals uh, are really the bricks, and then the vitamins are the mortar in between. You know, the whole. That's kind of what he says. And I, you know, most people think vitamins are more important than minerals. It's the other way around. Mm -hmm. Minerals are, are in many ways more important than the vitamins. So we always make sure that our kids get you know vitamins and minerals. You can get it from the food. But again, most people are not eating healthy enough food. So unfortunately, supplements are what they are. They're just supplements. You should always start with the real food first. Probiotics is a big key here. Now, if your gut health is not healthy, then you're not going to be able to absorb the nutrients. So no matter what you take. So that's why you have to take care of this. When you have all of these intestinal uh, distress problems today, a lot of that is caused by your gut is just out of, out of order. Um, and um, it's, 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 it's very tragic. So probiotics, we make sure we take probiotics. If you have a probiotic, there are a lot out there, make sure you take, talk to your physician first. The more strains, the better. So I try, we try to at least eight or more strains is, is pretty good. Um, this is uh, one that we take, is trace minerals. 
again, uh, it's very bitter. I think about the children of Israel when they complained about the bitter waters, right? And what my, my, my position is there is that one of the things that God was doing is he had to get the taste of Egypt out of their mouth because they were so used to it and they were so used to it. They say, hey, and they, and they complained all the time, but the bitter waters were, were really to heal their gut. So minerals and stuff, a lot, if you taste this, they're very bitter. And you say, oh man, but this is great for your, for your, your gut health. For your immune system so they didn't understand that he wasn't punishing him punishing them he was trying to help them and prepare them for the promised land and that they had to go through an adjustment period it's the same way when you go from from eating a certain way because your gut health is it it remembers what you fed it and that it will fight to keep the consistency of what it knows and it's going to take time to change it and it's going to fight and fight and fight